What happens when personal preferences clash with royal traditions? In the heart of the British monarchy, a recent incident has stirred the pot. Prince Harry has expressed a preference for a private meeting with his father, King Charles III, and he'd rather not have Queen Camilla in attendance. This seemingly simple decision has been interpreted in myriad ways. Some see it as a missed chance for reconciliation, a bridge-building opportunity that's been cast aside. Others, however, view it as a reasonable request for privacy, a direct father-son conversation without the presence of a third party. The situation introduces us to the intricate dance of blended family relationships within the royal context. It's a delicate balance, a tightrope walk between personal desires and public expectations. And in a family as scrutinized as the British royal family, every decision, every preference is amplified and dissected. As the world watches, each decision made by these royals carries weight beyond their personal sphere. Scene script. Ever wondered how it feels to navigate personal identity in the royal spotlight? Let's delve into Petronella Wyatt's portrayal of Prince Harry. Through her lens, we glimpse a man wrestling with the legacy of his royal upbringing and the weighty expectations of his princely role. This struggle isn't unique to Harry, though. It's a dance that every member of the royal family must learn, the delicate balance of public life and personal identity. Imagine living in a world where your every move, every decision, every misstep is dissected under the unrelenting gaze of the public and the media. This is the reality for the royals. It's a constant tug of war between the person they are and the person they're expected to be. The public and media perceptions don't just observe their actions and relationships, they shape them. A candid word here, a misunderstood gesture there, can spark a media frenzy, influencing their actions and even their familial bonds. Now, let's consider the narrative spun around the royal family. The public has a seemingly insatiable appetite for stories of conflict and reconciliation within the palace walls. The tales of familial rifts, the hopes of reconciliation, the whispers of rivalry, they all make for a compelling narrative. But what do these narratives reveal about us, the audience? Perhaps it's a reflection of our own familial complexities, our struggles with identity and belonging, magnified and played out on the royal stage. However, it's not all about the audience. These narratives also shape the personal journeys of the royal family members themselves. The stories we tell, the opinions we form, they echo back to the royals, influencing their self-perception and their interactions with one another. It's a feedback loop of public perception and personal identity. The royal family's actions are constantly under scrutiny, shaping not only public opinion, but also their personal journeys. So, the next time you read a headline about the royals, remember, it's not just about them, it's about us too. After all, they're a reflection of the society we've created, aren't they? In a family bound by duty and tradition, how do personal grievances and public narratives play out? To unravel this, we delve into the recent criticism directed at Prince Harry, which is juxtaposed with the sympathetic portrayal of Queen Camilla. This contrast offers a fascinating glimpse into the complex interplay of loyalty, affection, and resentment that characterizes the relationships within the British royal family. Prince Harry's preference for a private conversation with his father, King Charles III, has been interpreted by many as a sign of underlying tension. However, it's essential to view this choice not as an act of defiance, but rather as a reflection of the personal struggles that come with being in the public eye. From this perspective, Prince Harry's actions suggest a desire for direct communication, a chance to navigate the intricate family dynamics away from the prying eyes of the world. On the other hand, Queen Camilla's portrayal as a sympathetic figure opens another perspective. 
It's a reminder that each member of the royal family has their unique journey, interwoven with the collective narrative of this historic institution. The narrative suggests an undercurrent of rivalry and misunderstanding, hinting at deeper issues of acceptance and belonging. These complexities invite us to speculate about the impact of historical and personal grievances on the ability of royal family members to forge meaningful connections with each other. The long-standing public narratives and personal histories of individuals within the royal family inevitably influence their interactions. A royal's role is not just about fulfilling duties, it's also about navigating personal relationships under a microscope. The royal family's dynamics are a rich tapestry of loyalties, affections, resentments, histories, and public expectations. Each thread adds a new layer to their story and shapes our understanding of their lives. We must remember that beneath the glitz and glamour, they are a family with all the complexities that come with it. The royal family's personal histories and public narratives continue to shape their interactions and our perception of their roles and relationships. As we follow their journey, we learn more about the delicate balance of duty, tradition, and personal emotions in the world's most famous family. So, where does this leave us in understanding the royal family dynamics? We've explored the incident between Prince Harry and Queen Camilla and how public perception shapes their actions and relationships. We've dived into the influence of personal histories and public narratives on their interactions. It's a complex tapestry with threads of loyalty, affection, and resentment woven in. As we continue to watch the British royal family's saga unfold, we are reminded that beneath the crown and glamour, they too navigate the complexities of family dynamics, just like the rest of us.